What's up guys, I'm Zamix. Today I'm going to be going over a Q&A episode because I have not done that in a while. In fact, I uh, haven't done it in about a month or so. Anyway, I know I usually do it on I believe, Thursdays, but um, whatever. I'll do it today because, frankly, I'm working on other stuff and I would like to get a video out sooner rather than later. And I could probably still do one on Thursday. Anyway, so we got a couple questions here from Block Eye, Donod, Gaming with the Red, and Bailey Trinae, as here on YouTube. First one we're going to do is from Donod FPS. He's a fellow YouTuber of mine, so let's see his question. He says, Hey, here's a question. You know what I love? Uh, you know that I love making YouTube videos, even though it doesn't pay me anything. How much do you enjoy YouTube? Would you keep doing this in the future too? And do you have the little urge to improve on your video making skills? The reason that I ask this is because, as a subscriber, it's really cool to know what kind of motivation and effort is the entertainer putting on his video. Well, sort of a couple questions here, let's see. First one is, how much do you enjoy YouTube? So, first off, I love attention. YouTube gives you attention. Therefore, I love YouTube. <laughs> I also love helping people out, of course. That's always fun to do. I love hearing people's opinions on things. I like um, giving people's opinions. I, I love helping people in that aspect. And that's sort of one big reason why I do this, I think. All right, second one is, do you uh, plan to keep doing this in the future, too? Yes, I do plan to keep, to keep doing this as uh, long as it provides fun and entertainment that YouTube loves to do. Um, unless I, like, don't get any more popular, in which case it will seem like... Because I need my channel to grow more than it is. I mean, I have, like, 40-something subscribers, which really isn't a lot when you compare it to, like, people like Level Cap, Rival X. I mean, frankly, it's just tiny. Um, so, like, I'm trying to get a contract, and then with that I can probably do better. But we'll see what happens. Do you have a little urge to improve your video-making skills? Of course, it's sort of... Like, I mean, I would like a better video editing program, but frankly, I'm spending a lot of money on Airsoft lately, because uh, that's one of the things I love to do. I Airsoft all the time. Uh, I go, like, every Thursday or so to uh, Katata Airsoft Tactical, which is a nearby place, and I Airsoft a lot, so that's mostly where my money goes to as the moment, but I do plan on getting a new heatsink, because I have to edit the sound of my heatsink out of my videos right now. <laughs> Uh, the reason that I asked this was because I'm Skyver, cool to know what motivation and effort, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, I, that is basically in a nutshell why I guess I do videos and I, I, I think it's cool to know what, uh, why you uh, why the person you subscribe to does what he does and uh, that's cool that you asked me. Alright, then another question we have from Black Eye. if you had to live in any other country that you are in, Wait a moment. If you had to live in any country other than which, other than your own, which would you choose to live in? Sorry. So, other than my own, I'm British. I totally love Britain. No, I don't know. I don't know. Can Canada's pretty cool, I guess. I never really thought about that. I mean, I've visited a couple. Oh wait, I know Hawaii. Like that's my own country. Never mind. <laughs> but Hawaii would be a cool place to live in because you got the tropics and everything. Anyway, I've been to like Hawaii and Thailand, and those were cool places to visit. I like tropical areas where you can surf and um, lots to see there. I mean, like architecture and food is cool, you know, like in Europe. But I li I like tropical areas, lots of water things to do there. But where would I live in? I would probably live. I have no idea. <laughs> No idea whatsoever, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on. Gaming with the Red, he asked a couple questions. Uh, by couple, I mean two, even though he says three. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't say three, he says two. One, what is your favorite class in Battlefield 3? Gotta be the sniper class. It's definitely not my best class. I do much better as medic, but frankly, you can have really cool moments when sniping and... Uh, same with the engineer class, you know, you get those moments where you kill helicopters, but I more often get uh, awesome moments with my sniper class, and I'm a decent sniper, so that's pretty fun. What is the worst game you have ever played? Hmm. Don't know. 
played a lot of bad games, but like, what's the worst game? Hmm, I would, let's take a look at my Steam thing here. What's that game? Renaissance Heroes. It's that game that's out, and I was not really liking it all that much. So, it's definitely not the worst game I've ever played, but it's a good game to mention that. I just, like, if you see that on the Steam thing, it's for free. But still, I just wasn't really clicking with me, and it's sort of like, you can play it for like an hour or so, because it's a cool little ripoff of Call of Duty, and almost that, where you're uh, in the Renaissance, though. But frankly, the game mechanics are just so, like, not unoriginal. You, there's, there's nothing really special about it, other than what it's meant to look like. Um, and the only time I would care for looks is if Battlefront 3 ended up being Battlef Battlefield 3, but with Star Wars. That's like the only thing I would accept like that. Alright, and then Bailey asks, which died more, COD or Halo? Well, an excellent question, I would say. An excellent question, because I feel like both died, <laughs> to be frank. I Like, Call of Duty, it just, I don't... It was cool, like, with Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, World at War. World at War was my favorite. Um, those games were all very fun, and then it just sort of went downhill from there. I didn't really like Battle... Uh, not that. Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 I played a bit. It was decent. I liked some of the zombie maps, but frankly, it's just doing the same things over and over again. I don't feel like they're improving on much, and I just don't feel like I need to pay 60 bucks for the experience that the new Call of Duties will give me. Um, and I believe it'll be a while before I feel like I should pay 60 bucks for one of those. So COD's pretty bad. Halo also died. I'm probably not going to buy the next Halo. I didn't buy Halo 4. I played it many times at my friend's house and just went, you know, I love Reach. Yeah, I just, I don't see why I should, should change. I have all my maps on Reach. Another big thing about Halo is that I play for the Forge. Not to make Forge, but to play with other friends on maps that were made on Forge. Custom games. I play custom games all the time on Halo. That's basically why I own the game. And you can have so much fun doing that. There's just lots of creative things. Like, uh, if you guys played any high school games where you have a teacher and then uh, who is the infected guy, and uh, you have the children who are the uninfected, and the teacher is like, practically invincible. And like the <laughs> children have to obey the teacher, otherwise they get killed. So you get you're forced to do a lot of stuff, and you like play games, and usually it ends up with the losers dying. But <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, so that uh, was a lot of fun to do on Halo. And then, and in Halo Four, they got rid of the ability to build structures, which essentially ruined the game. I mean, I love the campaign, sure, but I played it at. Uh, with my a friend's disc, and then I felt like I was done with Halo. I didn't enjoy the uh, in a bit of Spartan Ops, but I didn't enjoy the Forge because you couldn't build structures. You could only put down little uh, like decorations and stuff, and maybe some. And they took out flying vehicles. It just they ruined it. Infection was ruined. You you weren't able to change infection sex settings. It had to be flood. Uh, you couldn't give them different weapons, which was able to change a lot of things. It just, they ruined it, I felt like. They really, did, it just was ruined. So, I say that Halo has died more, due to the fact that it felt like it was ruined. Call of Duty, it wasn't ruined. It simply wasn't approved, it just wasn't improved upon. So, it hasn't died. It just simply is staying where it is. It's still got way too many fans for it to be considered dead. Um, I just, I'm not going to be paying my 60 bucks for it. Halo, I'm definitely not going to be. Unless they create, unless they, like, totally fix everything they did in Halo 4 in uh, Halo 5, then maybe. But otherwise, I feel like it really was just ruined. It didn't feel like they improved on it so much. I mean, I like the graphics, uh, the new sound design, and sorry for the burp. Uh, it just was... It didn't feel like it improved that much. That's, I'm just going to stick with that. And so that's all the questions we have for today. And frankly, the only questions I got because, like I said, I only have 40 subscribers. You can only get so many questions. And it leaves me time. It does leave me time to answer all of them. So, you know, instead of answering just three or two or whatever, I'm able to answer all of them. Even though we're already at uh, 9 minutes and 36 seconds, according to Audacity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned some informational stuff from this. If you guys want to ask more thing questions, want to figure out what I like, what I play, what do I prefer, etc., 
things like that, um, I will definitely be sure to answer that in the comment section in my next Q&A episode. This is episode 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like and subscribe. I like some birds. Take some, 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 take some,